Hi everybody and welcome back to inside number five. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick bolty chicken. Um, quite a simple thing so it should literally take us maybe 15 minutes top. So I'm just going to run through the ingredients that you need. Uh, we've got four tablespoons of rapeseed oil. Um, I use rapeseed oil because it's, I just find it's a lot more tastier. We've got a whole onion just chopped up. We've got four garlic cloves crushed as well, well finely chopped and we've got the same amount of ginger. We've got two tomatoes chopped up. We've got a quarter tablespoon of chili powder. Now I'm only using a quarter of this chili powder because this is hot chili powder. So if you're using just sort of standard, you could maybe use half a tablespoon depending on how hot you like it. We've got a quarter tablespoon of um, turmeric. We've got a quarter tablespoon of fenugreek. And then we've got half a tablespoon of garam masala and half a tablespoon of coriander. And then we've got 400 grams of freshly diced chicken. We've got some fresh coriander just to obviously, um, when we serve it up, just to garnish it. We've got some uh, finely chopped coriander in there to go in and a whole green chili. And we've got a cup of water, just under a cup of water, depending on how thick you like your sauce. And we've got some salt for seasoning. So yeah, so first of all, get your pan nice and hot. Get your rapeseed oil in there. Over there. Just wait for your oil to heat up a bit. Good morning, Emma. Hi, Steve. I'm impressed you let me use in the wok. Yes. You see that lovely brown tinge on the bottom? That tells you it's ready. So in goes your onions. Nice sizzling noise we want. What is sidekick in here again? Oh, well, she won't like this. She <sighs> won't like this, Bailey. It's too hot. Le Hey, guess who it is? <laughs> Hi, Happy. She's not very well today. She's a bit miserable. Aren't you, Bailey? Hey? Yeah, we love you. I think she's a bit under the weather, isn't she? She is. So get them nice and... Oh, get them just sort of not... We don't want them sticking to the pan, but we do want them to slightly turn colour. Watched a good film last night, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Do you want to tell them? Ninth Gate. Johnny Depp? Yeah. That was really good. Good film. I'm a bit of a Johnny Depp fan, aren't I? Yeah, old. It's an old film, though. It's yeah. Not, it's quite old. I have watched it before, but I just couldn't remember the ending. Right. Uh, what's next going in the pan? Right, OK. Then we're going to add a little bit of salt just to take the moisture out of your onions. That's a tip we learned, didn't we? Yeah. And we're going to add the um, chilli, not the chilli, the uh, <laughs> garlic. Funny colour chilli. Garlic and the, um, oh you framed me now, ginger. Oh, oh that smells nice. It smells lovely. I've made this a couple of times, but obviously never on camera, so yeah. You have to bear with me. It's sort of your take on chicken balti, isn't it? Traditional chicken balti. Yeah. Um, I think um, uh, there was somebody I was talking to. They, they were using Kashmiri chilli, which yeah. is supposed to be really good. But you don't have to have it with chicken either. You can have it with prawns or veggies as well. So you don't have to have chicken, but we're just using the chicken up in the fridge. Right, now we're going to add the tomatoes. In they go. Is that just two normal sized tomatoes? Yeah, just two tomatoes. And it smells absolutely amazing. Oh, I can already. smell it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's the ginger and the onion, I think, isn't it? And the garlic all together. Mm. So yeah, just leave that. And what sort of heat have we got it on? I've got it on a sort of high heat at the moment. Right. But the wok doesn't sit on my cooker as well as it should. So if you've got a sort of better cooker than me, which is highly possible. Just leave all that to get all the flavours in there. Okay. Then Next. we're going to be moving on to the chilli powder. Is that chilli flakes I can see in there? Chilli flakes, yeah. Oh, you mix some chilli flakes with it? Yeah. Let's have a look. Because we, like, ah, okay. we like it quite hot, so obviously you don't have to, if you want, if you've just got normal chilli powder in there, then obviously you can add a little bit more, but we do like a bit of a kick to it. So. That was a hot chilli you got there, wasn't it? That yeah. powder. Yeah. I think we got it. Did you get it from Thailand? Um, not that one, no. no. 
look at that, all the flavours in there and the colour starting to change. That's what you want, see? So, wow. Lovely. And then you know it's all sort of soaking in. So just leave that again for a few seconds, let it just do its thing. Okay, now we have, sorry, turmeric. That goes in, turmeric. I'll be so impressed if I get this right. Quarter of a teaspoon. And then we've got fenugreek, quarter of a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon of fennel. If you want to use fresh, you can, but obviously we only had, um, we didn't have fresh, did we? We couldn't get fresh so We've that, got... Sorry, go on. Well, that's a mixture, isn't it? By the yeah, way. so we've got half of garam masala and half coriander. Which is which? Mixed together. I think that's the... Garam masala, yes, and that's the coriander. Right. So mix that all in there together. Yeah. Oh my god! Seriously, that smells divine. And look at the colour; it's starting to go as well. It's starting to change colour. Your tomatoes are starting to get sort of disintegrate into nothing, and obviously all the flavours are starting to come together. Right. And that's what you want. You want that nice sort of thick sauce. And obviously God, I wish everybody could smell this. Yeah, and the smell is absolutely amazing. So yeah, you want that nice colour coming together. Really. What do you so think, Bailey? Do you like the smell? <laughs> obviously not. Right, so we'll leave that in there just for 20 seconds. Just leave it, let it do its thing. Then we're going to add our chicken, which is 400 grams of freshly diced chicken. Get all that in there, the colour, into your chicken. I think this might be the best one actually I've done so far today. Oh, Just looking at the good. sauce and the flavour as well and the colour. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. A bit more? A bit yeah. of flavour? Just a little bit more. Just sort of... Hair looks nice today, Emma. Thanks. Have a look. It's, it doesn't. It's just up like this because it's an absolute mess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, so we we'll leave that and let the chicken cook. There we go. Right, I'll turn this up a bit. Just slightly. Right, just let your chicken sort of do its bit. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah. This is the sort of colour we want it to go. Obviously, just keep. I got told off the other day, didn't I? Because I fiddle around with it too much and I should just leave it <laughs> yeah. to, to No, not the other day earlier, though, let's yeah. be honest. Uh, yeah. just <laughs> Stop fiddling. Just before the actual video, wasn't huh? it? I got told off. Sorry, Bells. Sorry. I can't touch you because I'm cooking, but yeah. You won't like this. No, not at all. She's a Labrador, she eats anything. So while that's doing its thing, we're then going to go to the sink and just stick these in here, like so. I think your mum's just turned up. Oh. <laughs> but we are in lockdown, so we can't go and see her. Yeah, we'll have to wait, can not you? So yeah, just leave that like that. Sorry, I'm fiddling again. Can you see that? That looks gorgeous. Mm. Still raw though, isn't it? But you could cook this as well at home, like yeah. you fancied an Indian. Right. Couldn't you? You could sort of do this at home. You could do it with chicken or veggies or what about prawns? prawns. You could have a, oh, a, chicken. a fish one, yeah. Oh, sorry. Prawn bowl thing? Yeah. King prawns? Prawn okay. bowl thing. Yeah. Do pretty much whatever you want with it, really. We like, obviously, I, I like my chicken, so... Um, well, what about the rice? What, um, what do you well, want to do about not, the rice? Yeah, I'm not doing any rice today because um, we're probably just going to have it with a bit of bread, aren't we, and naan bread or something. Yeah. Um, but obviously you can use whatever rice you want. You can have peeler rice, boiled rice, basmati, egg fried rice, whatever you prefer. Um, but well, like not said, long grain rice or wholemeal or... Or wholemeal, yeah. <laughs> or brown rice. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Boiled rice and egg fried rice. 
Yeah. What we down the Chinese? Yeah, well, it depends, <laughs> doesn't it? If you made your own egg fried rice, it'd be absolutely lovely. Yeah. It would be good for you as well. How do you do egg fried rice? Uh, rice and egg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible, Muriel. Yeah, but we could, you could have it with rice, but um, we're probably just going to have it with a bit of bread, like I said. So, yeah, but we leave that up to you to decide what you want. To and do. I think the chilies as well, you can put them in now, can't you? Or if you fancy a bit of a crunch to the chilies, I think you can put them um, in sort of nearer the end. Yeah, I'm just checking this chicken. I've got to give it a bit of a, a stir up and a fiddle around. The infamous stir. Yeah. Fiddler. There you go. Always, I'm obsessed with my chicken's got to be completely cooked. I don't know why. Well, I think that's right, though, isn't it? Yeah. We had really bad food poisoning once, didn't we? We won't go into details, but. Where was that? That was in Marrakesh. Oh no, but it wasn't. Um, it wasn't anything to do with chicken, was it? We no. Had, we had olives oh. on rice, didn't we, up in the mountains? Yeah. Just thinking about it, it makes me feel ill. But we were really... really oh, I won't go into detail with that. But see, that is a really nice thick sauce, and that's what you want. And then, obviously, you can add as much water to how, you know, you like your sort of consistency to be. We don't... Steve doesn't like really watery curries. We experimented with water, didn't quite we? Quite thick, yeah. And I think we've narrowed it down to sort of um, that amount of water which is there. Um, it's, we had a full cup, but I found it a little bit runny. Um, so we've just um, taken about a quarter off the top of that. It's always better to add less, I and mean, then you could always add more if you want it a bit runnier, or if it's too thick. But you can't do it the other way around. How's it looking? Looking good. Some of the bits of chicken are obviously a lot bigger, so I'm going to add the water now. Well, actually, we'll do the coriander. Oh, I grow that myself, don't I? You do. <laughs> and then we'll add the green chilli. This is just a large green chilli, but you can use a couple of chilies, or you can use red chilli again, a bit more salt, depending on how you like it. And like I said, we're just using sort of just under a, a sort of cup, because I like, we like it quite thick, don't we? Yeah, well, we'll see how we get on. Um, oh my god, that looks so good. We sort of detracted ourselves away from the tins and the jars of cooking sauce, haven't we? Uh, oh, yeah. We, um, I, I don't know, since we got back from Thailand, we sort of do everything from scratch now. Well, I think nowadays people are becoming so much more conscious of what you're eating and what you're putting in your mouth. Um, I think, you know, a couple of years back it was a lot easier, a lot more convenient to buy. Um, you know, a jar from the supermarket and add a bit of meat to it and stick it on some rice. Whereas I think now we're we're trying to we're trying to cook more. And the prep only took what ten minutes at home. Yeah, and cut, it's, cut the chicken and yeah. the chilies and tomatoes and stuff. And the taste as well. I think if you can cook from home and cook from scratch and use all fresh ingredients and and you just look at that. You, you know, you're not going to get that. From a jar, I'm sorry, but it doesn't no, matter no, what jar you're using. You know, whether it's the most expensive jar in the world, it's never going to taste the same as using all fresh ingredients that you've, you know, you've bought yourself um, and cooked from scratch. I don't think there's anything tastier. Got to say, it does look nice. The sauce now is just thickening up as well, so that's nice. Obviously, this is going to be to our how we like it, nice and thick sauce. You have to have this for lunch now, Steve. Um, no problem. Would you care to try it? I can try it. Should we put the old spoons, see what you think. I'm just going to try the sauce though, because like I said, I'm really funny with my chicken, so it's not, it's not cooked well enough for me yet. Oh yeah. Can I try it? It's got, it's got some serious kicks still. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, like I said before, yours won't be as hot as this one. Right. There you go. Because we have used extra hot chilli. Oh, wow. That, that is, seriously, that is the best one you've done. So far. Yeah. I think it's just all trial and error as I well. You, I think yeah. you've just got to, you know, do everything accordingly to your own taste as well. Like, when you follow a recipe or somebody tells you how to cook something, I think you can always tweak it slightly 
um, to your own sort of to how you like it yourself, can't you? Yeah, but we, I think with us, we do a couple, don't we, to try it, and then you sort of adjust the get it right. Yeah, because it is really what you've made up yourself, isn't it? Um, and sort of read about it and things like that, and then you just add. I do. I am going to add a bit more salt, though. I'm a bit of a salt worshipper. I think I don't like to add it to my food when it's cooked, but I do when it's cooking. I'm trying not to splash myself in this as well. But that would look really nice as well if you were having some, like, obviously not at the moment, I know, guys, because we're all not allowed to socialise or anything, but if you were having friends around for tea or something, or you're having a, you know, a, an Indian night, this is something you could cook for your friends or your family and just add, obviously, double the amount of ingredients, which would, because this would be enough for two, wouldn't it? It'd be nice to dip your naan breads in it as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to serve it up now. I think we're ready to go. Let's give it a quick little... I'm just going to check my chicken. Some of these are a lot bigger than the other bits, but yeah, we're, we're okay. We're good to go. See, that's how thick we like our sauce. Um... But you can have it, like I said, a lot more. That is absolutely stunning. Yeah. And the smell, the, you can't smell it, obviously, but the smell in my kitchen at the moment is absolutely <laughs> insane. I expect my neighbours are thinking, what, what is Emma cooking? Right. We're just going to dish up some. I'm going to leave this because we're going to have it later. But just let the kids sit there. Carmen, will, Carmen, even my younger daughter, Carmen. She 13, was, she doesn't really eat stuff, but she did try it yesterday when it was like super hot, didn't she? Yeah. She, she loved it. Right, let's get some sauce in there. Okay, turn that down. Can you imagine that though, with some nice rice? Oh yeah, right, so. Okay. This is me. Can you get in there? Yeah. There we go. So, let me get a nice bit of chilli in there as well. Oh my god. That is so good. I'm absolutely... Um, Drooling. Yes. Is that nice? Mm -hmm. Do you want a taste? Please. Oh, what are those chilies like? They're oh, lovely. So there we have it guys. Absolutely stunning. Good. Yeah, okay. absolutely beautiful. Well done. Okay, thank you. Well, I hope you like my video. Um, please, if you do like, and obviously if you've got any comments or questions, then please leave a uh, comment and I'll get back to you. What are you cooking next, by the way? Um, don't know. We might do a Thai. Might do a Thai curry or okay. something. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. We'll have go a, for a we'll Thai. Have a chat and see. All right. But yeah, see how you got on with this one. Give it a whirl. And obviously, if you do cook it at home, then obviously leave me a message to say you have and let me know what you think about it. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.